Confucius Institute is important to me because it isn't just a language center, it's a cultural center. In university, I'm a political science major and I study Chinese. And a lot of that is because of my interest in international relations that really came from my experience in Chinese classes in middle school and high school. So it was really formative to the person that I am now in the course of study and the hopeful career path that I'm on. The Confucius Institute community really is kind of a global education network and it's unique and it's innovative and it's important. In fact, you cannot think of another program in the world's history like this program. If the entirety of Confucius Institute just left my university city, there would be something missing because China just doesn't come here on its own. If the Confucius Institute were to disappear tomorrow, what I would miss most is the sense of community. It really does build one both with people abroad and people here. Without the Confucius Institute, I wouldn't have had the experience to study in China, to see China as an actual country. Until then, I'd seen it as pictures in a textbook and things that I learned about. But from my affiliation with the center, I was able to go see it for myself, which was awesome. So it's really, really critical, not just for Americans, but for folks around the world to learn the Chinese language, to understand this country that it looms so large on the world stage. The best part of my Confucius Institute experience really are the relationships that I have developed with the people in the Confucius Institute community. That means the teachers, the staff, the other members who are learning Chinese and Chinese culture. For me, it's been really important to learn about China from the Chinese perspective because I want to go into international relations and I feel like I can't understand a culture and I can't understand a language if I don't have the background of understanding it from that perspective. The Confucius Institute is something that's really unique and special because people are willing to go out of their way to incorporate other cultures, incorporate other backgrounds. I think that there are a lot of fundamental misunderstandings between the United States and China. It's something that we, the people, have to work against. Having the opportunity to sort of expose a little bit of what an honest, American is like to them and get an idea of what an honest Chinese citizen is like is key to building that sort of relationship moving forward. Any relationship that you've ever had in your life that you improved upon by walking away from it? None. None. You gotta stay at the table. You gotta stay engaged. And that's what this is all about. The best thing that we've got going for us to improve this relationship and make it healthy and strong is about mutual understanding. And what better way is there to mutually understand one another than to mutually understand one another's language and to mutually understand one another's culture? The one image that I have of the Confucius Institute is that it really opens the door to Chinese culture and language. The door of the Confucius Institute will always remain open to those who want to pass through.